hello and welcome to my channel out on a wonder. Today's video is going to be about Roslyn Chapel. Located on the outskirts of Edinburgh, in the village of Roslyn stands Roslyn Chapel. This is one of the most ornately carved medieval stone chapels in all of Europe. Roslyn Chapel was founded in 1446 by Sir William Sinclair, first Earl of Caithness, and is famous for its striking and unusual medieval carvings, from the Green Man to the famed Apprentice Pillar. According to an account written in 1700 by Father Richard Augustine here, Sir William inspected each of the images first carved in wood before passing them to the stonemasons. The carvings undoubtedly add to the mystery of Roslyn. How did the church become associated with the Knights Templar? The Sinclairs remain a curious family within Scottish history, and records show they fought in the Crusades, which would explain the stone carving of a camel on the outside of the chapel. And some also believe they were Templars escaping the purge from France. The Knights Templar were founded around 1118 after the First Crusade, as a monastic military order devoted to the protection of pilgrims travelling to the Holy Land. The Knights resided in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, also known as the Temple of Solomon, which is also the reason they became known as the Knights of the Temple, or just plain Templars. The Templars quickly became one of the richest and most influential groups of the Middle Ages, and it was this astonishing wealth that would lead to their downfall. King Philip the Fair of France was substantially in debt to the Knights Templar, and used a disgruntled complaint against the Templars as a way to free himself from his debts. At dawn on Friday the 13th of October 1307, he ordered that the Templars be arrested for heresy and impropriety. In the weeks that followed, more than 600 Templars were arrested and tortured into admitting heresy before being put to death. The legend goes that Gerard of Villiers had been tipped off about the arrests and managed to escape with eight in galleys filled with Templar treasure. The fate of the galleys is unknown, but one of the first stories to link the Templar fleet to Scotland was in the 18th century, when a Scottish exile in Germany, George Frederick Johnson, said that the Templars had sailed to Scotland. The chapel itself was built 150 years after the Templars were dissolved, but it is said that a number of the buildings contained Templar imagery. A common Templar symbol is the two knights sharing the same horse, and one carving in particular is said to show William the Seamy escorting St Margaret to Scotland, carrying a piece of the true cross which is also known as the Holy Road. However, some people say different things in this carving. Another set of carvings that stand out are located in the South Isle. This set of carvings appears to show maize and aloe, which both originate from North America, a country traditionally thought to have been discovered by Columbus in 1492 almost 50 years after Rosalind Chapel was built. These carvings tie in with a story that tells of Sir Henry St. Clair, grandfather of the chapel's founder, travelling to North America before Columbus. The story goes that sometime in the late 1390s, Henry St. Clair had led an expedition west, accompanied by the Zeno brothers, and I believe to have landed in what is now known as Newfoundland. In 1849, a canon of Venetian design, allegedly dating back to the late 1300s, was dredged from the harbour of Lewisburg in Cape Breton Island. This is believed to have been exactly the same sort of cannon that would have been carried on their ship. So did the Templar reach North America first? Historians would say no, but that hasn't stopped the Canadians celebrating the spot where they believed one did. Another common theory is that the Templars also founded the new order of Freemasons. So if the opportunity arises, 
I would also recommend a visit to the Masonic Temple. Located within five minutes walking distance of the chapel, Masonic Lodge, Rosalind St. Clair, number 606, holds regular talks about the chapel, Templars, and their links to Freemasons. I've included links to the lodge in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.